first flagship free training today in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's called Wealth on the Internet. If you have never attended Wealth on the Internet, make sure you do. If you have attended, uh, we are always updating the content every quarter. I actually update the content and make it much more relevant to today's marketplace. So I want you to, you know, see how you can get yourself into Wealth on the Internet. Find out where I am. Come on in. And in this video, we're going to show you behind the scene of what's it like to be a speaker of a event like this. So there's a lot of people who register for this event. I think about 700 plus people. We were planning to get 1,200 people, but we had some issue with our Facebook ad account, which is weird. We had a conversation with Facebook yesterday. So one of my Facebook ad account, that's a glitch apparently. It's weird, but uh, we still got 700 people, which is great. I always believe in you know, aim super big because even if you fail, you get big, which is pretty good, right? We got 700 people registered to come today, but this is Kuala Lumpur where everyone is busy and everyone is not gonna show up. It's very common when you do an event, especially a free event, not everybody is gonna show up, which is fine, right? Right? Because um, the people who show up are the people that are the most committed, the people that are most likely going to take action, the most likely going to start a business, most likely going to do something to change their, their, their destiny and the thing. But uh, in terms of the people that confirm they are coming, I think that's about close to 300 people. But they're broken into two sessions because we don't want to like put everything, everyone into one session. In case they have questions at the end of the event, they want to ask. And I definitely don't want to do evening session because I'm a morning person and um, night session is not so 100% of me, if that makes sense. Uh, that's why I drink this. This is what I drink. People ask, you know, is this a magical, herbal tea or magical coffee that you drink. No, absolutely not. This is pre-workout. I drink pre-workout before every single event that I do. I drink pre-workout before I go work. I want you to see behind the scenes what the speaker for an event is like. You know, a lot of people think that, oh, we have the VIP experience where some house, somewhere, some random driver just pops up with a red carpet and drives us to the event and we become like a celebrity as well. No, it's not like that all the time, right? And a lot of people often talk about, you know, speakers having superpowers. It's not like we, we've been in the same situation with, uh, you know, with you. Like if, if you're suffering right now, we've been there, right? That's why, that's why we understand. That's why we do what we do because we can empathize, which is really important. Now on the top, we gotta write down active for active income and passive for passive income. What could be audio courses, video courses, ebooks, and they have this thing called SC. It stands for some cost. Okay? What it means is that when you invest time, money, and effort to build the digital product for the first time, that is the only cost that you will incur. You understand? Because when you sell the second copy of a digital product, you need to pay the cost again. No, because digital product is infinite. 
in nature. It's digital. You understand what I'm saying? Think about it. That's why Michael Jackson is still making money today, even though he's not around anymore. He's getting millions of royalty because his music is being sold digitally all the time. Are we clear? That's digital product. It has some cost. You only need to incur the cost one time. Either cost of time, cost of effort, or cost of money. You can pay other people to do your product, or you can do it yourself. Your choice, right? Now, the good thing about this model is that it has very high margin. Okay, if I sell my digital product for hundred dollars, I get to keep mostly about ninety nine dollars. Is that pretty good margin? Yeah, the one dollar I usually have to pay like maybe transaction fees, like credit card fees, that kind of stuff, which is fair because this one also need to incur that as well. Okay, now. If you think that's pretty good, I want you to know that because the margin is so good and more importantly, the best part about digital product is fall under passive. Do you notice that? Successful people and rich people, they know how to leverage other people's TME. Time, money, and expertise. You understand? Like, I'm horrible with a company. You don't come and ask me that's what I want to ask you about a company stuff. Uh, I don't know. You get, when you ask you social media stuff, I can help you. You understand what I'm saying? So I leverage other people's accounting knowledge to help me in my company. So that's what I do, and that's what you should do too. You understand what I'm saying? Get one client at three thousand ringgit a month. You have five of those clients. How much money are you making a month? And you sign a contract for twelve months. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's already six figures. Just in case you didn't realize. Okay. Let's say you get two more clients. What happens? What's in your mind? Hawaii. <laughs> Maybe you were thinking, hmm, BMW or Mercedes. Right, Omega or Rolex, which one are we looking at? Right, which is really cool because think about it, you only need a few clients. Come on, seven clients, I'm sure you can handle them. Okay, only seven numbers on your WhatsApp, seven emails that you need to reply. Okay, you don't need an employees to handle that. But if you let's focus on a business model that work, which is in Malaysia, I believe consulting service, and then at the same time you build a digital product, so you have a balance of active income and passive income. You have maybe hundreds of dollars coming on a daily basis. This one every month you have thousands of dollars. So not only you can quit your job, but you can also start a business that can sustain. Most people start a business that lose money for years. My students start a business that makes money in 30 days. That's the big difference. Right? That can do this. Right? That's why I'm the only logical choice.